Hi, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Renelle. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is my monthly favorites for last month. Um, which we didn't get to do yesterday. Which we didn't get to do yesterday because we didn't have to run some errands and by the time we got home, it was just, it was too hot and I was just irritable. So I was like, I'll just do it tomorrow. So this is going to be my June favorites. June monthly favorites. When are we doing July monthly favorites? It's in the end of July. Okay, so to start off with, what I'm going to do is start off with foundations. I'm just going to grab whatever's in here. Um, I've been really loving this month. And the first one is going to be the True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup in the color C3 Cool. As you can tell, I've used quite a bit of it, and that's the reason why it's so dirty. I really love this stuff because I do have dry skin. And this leaves such a beautiful finish on the skin it doesn't sink into my skin or, or my pores or anything like that so it's really good if you do have um dry skin now if you have oily skin you might want to use a mattifying primer underneath this um but other than that it's really good and it's like 10 or 11 dollars from walmart or from ulta the second foundation i want to talk about is going to be my naked skin by Urban K. This is the first one that they came out with. It's not the new one. Now this is really good. Um, also, I've had this for about a year or so. And if you can hear, it does have a ball in it that it sounds like paint when you shake it up. You can hear it and it sounds like paint. Now this is the color 3.5. Now this is my summer color. I really like it, especially if, like, if I'm fake tanned or like tanned or something like that. This um, is what I will wear. Now, for a primer that I've been really loving this month, um, I did pick this up from Ulta, and you do have to shake it extremely well. Um, it is the Light Correcting Serum Primer in the, cut, in the shade color in Candlelight. Now, this is, um, you don't get a whole lot in it. It's about like a sample size. Kind of? No, it's not a sample size. Um, but it really does glow now if you were to put something like wear something like this underneath the lumi foundation it's like a dream come true for dry skin because these two it's just like they're perfect this is kind of like the light infusing primer from l'oreal the white one but i like this even better because it leaves more of a glow to it um And the next thing that I've been really liking this month is about Ardell 120 Black and my Demi Wispies. Um, I don't have those with me at this moment. They are in my makeup drawer, but these are really good. I do have to cut some of these off because they are a little bit big on my eyes. Because they're just a little, my eyes are small. Um, so I do have to cut every lash that I get. And I can use these up to about 10 to 15 times um, if you take really good care of them. <laughs> Now, you can get these from Ulta, or you can also get these from Walmart as well. And they're like 10, 10 or 12 dollars for the pack of this. And since we're on that, the... And on top of that, the glue that I've been really liking um, since I started wearing boxies it's going to be my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive in the color Clear. This is the only one that I will wear continuously. I've tried the House of Lashes for the last couple of times and I don't really like it. Um, I even have like two backups of this. And you get this at Walmart for like $3. It's like the cheapest, but that's what it looks like. Um, but it's still really good. So I highly, highly recommend this. And then for the lip color that I have on, um, this is something new to me. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color number 10, Dreamer. Now for this, like I said, I really like this. This is very matte, but it's very comfortable. But you do have to take very good care of your lips. If you have like um, dry lips or something like that and it's chapped a lot, then you'll really want to moisturize and um, 
use like a scrub to take off the dead skin so it didn't flake because I forgot to do that and it looked horrible so this is the color that I do have on it's really pink it's not like Barbie pink or anything like that it's just really pretty and I really do enjoy this I will be picking up some more of these colors I did get this from Walmart I'm not sure how much it was it was like eight eight dollars so not too bad and then for another primer that I've really been loving now Urban Decay I love their stuff but they're expensive <laughs> but to me it's worth it um I've been using the optical illusion complexion primer it's smoothing with rosehip and argan oil pore perfecting now did use this in a video um and this is like the small size that you can get I do have the other size I accidentally got this well, I was buying some sample sizes for a video that I made because um, I totally forgot I had that one. But I love this. You don't need how much. Like this much right here is all you really need for pores. Because if you put a whole lot on, as you can tell, I just rubbed it out. And if you don't if you're not careful it will leave like a white cast on your skin and it's not a cute look at all so i just be very careful of how much you use of those primers a lot of people don't like them that's the only one that i've tried but so far i really do like that one um oh yes some face powders i've really been loving it's going to be the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Um, this is the one that is made like with 50% 50% of water or something, I think. Now, I've been using this for the past few months and I really, really love this. Now, when you get it, it does have a lid and then it has like this mesh. I need to be careful because I have drops on this. So you can open it Let's see, right here. Let me show you. So when you open it, it pops up like that. And do like this so that I don't waste my powder. So, and then it has like a mesh that you can push in, which will give you the powder. But you really want to be careful because if if you are not careful like it, spill everywhere. it will spill everywhere but since I've worn this um, I have noticed that my skin is not dry or anything like that it will set when it sets it feels amazing especially as you're pushing it into your skin um, I've used it with beauty blender I've used it with a brush and all that and it feels weird when you're putting it on your face it feels like it's wet and a lot of people don't like that sensation, but I personally, I love it. So, if you do get this, just know that it can feel weird while you're pushing it into your skin. Whether you use a dip down beauty blender or like a brush or anything like that, it will feel like water is on your face. That freaked me out the first time I tried it. Now, another powder that I've really been liking, um, I think I just got this the last couple of weeks of I'm not sure exactly when I received it or when I got it but I did get it on a random trip to Walmart me and my son went and I picked it up and now there's it does come with a puff but I've taken it out there's one thing about this powder I don't like and it's the mm, oh it don't taste good there it is this mesh as you can tell it, it smells good uh, it smells good but it's oof. as you can tell it is pushed in and stuff like that and it's very hard to get any powder out so when i sit here and i try to do it i have to hit it against the lid and it's extremely loud it sounds like you have to beat beat it to death so i may try to take that out i'm not sure <clears throat> But the powder in the, other than that, the powder in the packaging is really good. You get like a lot of this. You get like um, 2.3 ounces. That's the most I've ever 
cotton powder. And it's in the color, I've got the color translucent, tra translucent. And oh my god, this was like six bucks at Walmart. This is like so good. So good. And I think in this powder you only get oh 0 0.35. You don't even get a whole ounce of this. <laughs> okay. The next thing that I really been like, it's Milani Alto. Is the Milani O2 Strobe Light in Day Glow. Now this is a highlighter. Did it? Oh my god, it just broke. Well, that's probably from me. It just no, it just came out. Oh. Oh crap. Alright, so I was trying to get that open. Uh, no, no, no. It wasn't you. It just came out on its own. So this is what it looks like. Let me take. Give a swatch. Like Remember how we got that one that looks like a palm tree? Mm -hmm. That looks like a my seashell, sea don't it? If you look at it like how I'm looking at it. I like, am. Oh, yeah. This is what it looks like. Right there. It's very, very pretty. And when you blend it out, it's even prettier. So, I did get that from I Kid House. Cause it has sale, and I love the products that I got from there. So the next thing that I've been liking is a blush by Mac in the co color Petal Flower. This is one of their minimalized blushes, and of course, oh, I got that one up that time. That's the color. Give a swatch. As you can tell. It's right here. It is a gorgeous pink. It's not too pink. It's not, you know, like, whoa. like you scared the clown into it. But it's very pretty. It's very smooth. And um, like most of Mac's Mac products are. And I did get this from Ulta. I'm not sure the price that I pay for it because I've had it for a while. But this is like one of my favorite blushes to wear in the summer because when you're tan it just makes the color pop so much more better and then the very very last thing that i have is going to be of course my hula benefit bronzer <sighs> i do have that light one but i love this it's just a beautiful bronzy color and i did get this from And it's a very, very pretty color as well. As you can tell, I switched it right here, but you can't even tell it. So that is all I have for this month. Um, hopefully next month I'll have more um, skincare and stuff like that. But other than that, I just thank you for some for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel below.